everyone, this is Gail, and I'm back with another how-to video. And I think what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a swirl bead. If you can see that, I'm zoomed in, so I, you know, I apologize if I get out of frame, but this is something you need to see close up. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some scrap clay, and I've got several here. This is just a multicolored. Remember the landscape that we did? I've got some of that left here. Here's a black and white stripe end of a cane that was cut off. This is the end of the flower petal cane that I did. And I'm going to show you how to do all three of these. And what I'm, I'll start with this one. And the first thing I need to do is turn this into a ball. And the reason I bent it that way is I, I want to get some of this interesting stripes on the top. So I folded it so that I would at least have one side that has those balls on it. Swirls, I don't mean balls. But then you, I'm thinking about rolling it into a ball. Sorry if that makes you dizzy so close up. So I've made a ball out of this clay. And I'm going to look at the side that I, that I want to be on top. And I think I'm going to set right just like that. You need an acrylic block. This one is about uh, two and a half inches wide, square. And what you do is you put your bead or your ball of clay down on your work surface and make sure it's a glass or ceramic tile some kind of surface that this will stick to because it's sticking to the to the work surface and sticking to the acrylic block that causes the swirl and you just lay this so it's in the center and you start rotating now the best thing to do is to pick a direction because you need to keep that same direction. If you have to stop and reposition anything, you still want to go back to the same position. So I am going to rotate mine clockwise. So I'm going to start, and I'm just going to start rolling, just going around in a circle, and you'll notice that it forms a pointed... Let me do it, get a few more. But see how it's forming a pointed, it's like a bicone shape. And that's what you want. So see, now I can put this back and know that I need to still go clockwise. Let's see, there we go. But you want to keep that point because that point is, is what's going to start swirling. But you just keep going in the same direction. And you'll notice... Sometimes it'll switch to like an oval shape, and if it does, it means you're putting too much pressure on one side, so you can even that out, and I just lost my point. Let me see if I can get it back. Nope, I lost it. But that's no problem. I'm just going to ball it up into a ball. I shouldn't be trying to demonstrate while I'm working, because once you get started, it's hard. So I'll just start again. And this time I won't stop. So I just start swirling. And now I've got my point. And I just don't press down on it yet. You just want to keep that point and just keep going round and round in the same direction. And you eventually, I don't know if you can see, these little stripes will start to spin around the center of the bead. So you just keep going, keep it in the same direction, keep your point, it's beginning to spin a little bit. Now I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to leave it attached to my block, but I'm just going to move it a little bit because it was sliding off of my work surface. So just keep going, keep going, keep your point. There it goes again off of my surface. But if you have to move it, just remember to keep it up against your acrylic block. Now, can you see the swirls? 
See how it's swirled around the inside? Now you, can keep, you can stop now or you can keep going. And I think I'll just keep going a little bit. Still going clockwise, still keeping my point. Just let it swirl. And you can keep going or stop anytime. And I think I'm ready to stop. I kind of like that swirl. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that point down. Keep going around, but just press that point down. And there you've got a pretty bead. Now just imagine this with other colors. The back side is not quite the same because it doesn't grab the tile like it grabs the acrylic, but you can choose which side. Of course, this is the side I was looking for. So that was using some definite little patterns. Now this is a stripe, and I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, so let's just give it a try. I'm going to pinch the corners because this is kind of square. And then I'm going to roll it into a ball, and I'll just roll it on my work surface rather than having my hands going in different directions. Okay, so it's kind of round, and I think I'm going to use this as my top. So we do the same thing. We put our block on it, lay it on the top, and start turning it, and it will turn into a bicone. There we go, there's our bicone. And then just keep going. And let's see what happens with this stripe. I've never done this one before, so I can see that the black along the edges is kind of taking over. So let's see what happens in the center. Hopefully the center will swirl. It could give it could be interesting. We'll see. Let me move it over a little bit. All right, so I'm going to start pressing this down a little bit kind of flatten it some, maybe not all the way. It was getting too pointy on the end. And let's see what we have. Let me press down and get rid of the points. And there's what we have for our black now this was stripes and see how it swirled. So that makes an interesting bead. And then this is going to be a little bit more difficult. But this would be the same as if you're using just a bunch of scrap clay. And I don't need a bead that big. Let me just cut a portion of it off. And try to make this into a ball. When you're making a ball of clay, it's the same in your hands or on your work surface. If you roll it in one direction, you're going to end up with an oval. So you alternate your direction. Go clockwise, then go counterclockwise for a little bit. Same thing in your hands. If you're rolling it in your hands, go clockwise, and then every once in a while stop and go counterclockwise. And it keeps your bead a little bit rounder. Now you see, this is going to be kind of interesting. I'd like to see how this one turns out. It's got all those colors in it. And let's see how this does. Okay, I've made my bicone shape. Now it's just keep going. And let's see what happens. It 
It's also good to have all of your clay warmed up. This probably wasn't a very good clay to use because it wasn't warmed up. It's been sitting here in my scrap bowl. But it's working okay. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a fun one. The only thing is you'll never get two that are the same. So if you're looking for a matching set, this is not the way you want to go. All right, I think I'm going to start flattening mine out a little bit. You just flatten it as you go. Keep turning, and so it'll flatten evenly. And there's this bead. Isn't that interesting? So you can see the opportunities and the variations you can get just depending on the type of clay that you put in there. But these are how to make a swirl bead. And then all you would do is poke a hole with a bead piercing pin or with your needle tool. You would just go through. Or maybe you want to make a pendant out of one and you would just put one hole in it. But there you go. There are our swirl beads and I just want to put them here I'm going to take a picture so I hope you enjoyed that and come back again for more how-to videos thanks bye bye